Ladies and gents, boys and girls, how are we all doing? Thursday the 7th of May at home at workout 45. We've got a treat for you today. We've got our limited equipment option. It's going to see you do a rep scheme that follows a 12, 12, 12, 10, 10, 10, 8, 8, 8. You're then going to go back up 10, 10, 10 and 12, 12, 12 for time. The movements we're going to be completing is a movement that we haven't done since being on lockdown. We've got a single arm dumbbell or kettlebell squat clean on the right side, then a single arm kettlebell or dumbbell squat clean on your left side. Following that, you're going to get some hollow rocks in, and you're going to do all 12 reps on your right side, or 12 reps on your left side, and then do your hollow rocks. You're not going to alternate when you're doing that. So let's have a look at some of our movement standards. Your dumbbell or your kettlebell is going to be situated on the floor. You're going to hinge back and bend down. You're going to stand up, violently extend the hips, rack it, and squat down. Like I said, you're going to do all of the reps on the one side, and then you're going to do all of the reps on the other side. Our other movement is going to be a hollow rock. What we're going to do, we're going to go down into that hollow position for maintaining that dish shape, and then we're just going to resist the movement. In regards to some of our scaling options, with that hollow rock, what we can do is we can go into a tuck position, Or, if we're struggling to resist the movement, we can just do a hollow hold, for example. That's more challenging, that's least challenging, and that's less challenging again. In regards to scaling our single arm dumbbell or kettlebell squat clean, in regards to the clean movement, we have a pull, we have a transition, and we have a squat. If your kettlebell or your dumbbell is too heavy, we can still get a pull because we can do a dumbbell deadlift. Then we could do a dumbbell or kettlebell goblet squat. If you are going to go for that scaling alternative, what I would recommend is doing the dumbbell or kettlebell deadlift, then doing the dumbbell or kettlebell goblet squat, and then doing the hollow rocks. However, if you are unclear on that, your individual coach will provide some more explanation. In regards to our warm-up team, what we're going to do, we're going to get three minutes of moving. So whether that is on a bike, going for a jog, going up and down the stairs, or a brisk walk, that'll be fine. We're then going to complete four rounds, not for time. We're going to do 10 side lunges. That's going to be five each way. You're then going to do 10 dumbbell or kettlebell deadlifts, seven shoulder rotations, and then one Turkish get up on each side. So let's have a look at our movements for that. Your side lunge or lateral lunge is going to see you with your feet under your hips to begin with. You're then going to go out to the side. You want to keep all four points of your foot on the floor. You're then going to come back down. You're going to come back to midline, go again, get five on the one way, and then get five on the other. Following your ten side lunges, we're going to do ten dumbbell or kettlebell deadlifts. Again, we're going to have our feet directly under our hips. We're going to have soft knees. I'm going to send my bum back and keep my back flat. And then I'm going to push through my heels and squeeze my bum at the top. Following your 10 at dumbbell or kettlebell deadlifts, you're going to get seven shoulder rotations. I want you to treat this one like a PVC pass through. So you're going to have your hands nice and wide, you're going to shrug up, and then you're just going to rotate back and forth with the shoulders. Following that, you're going to get one Turkish get up on each side. This is a complex movement, so we're going to go through this one together. You're going to start by lying on the floor. You're going to have the same arm up and same knee up. You're going to have the opposite arm out at 3 o'clock on a clock face. You're going to roll over onto your shoulder, up onto your elbow, up onto your hand. At all times, that dumbbell or kettlebell is facing the roof, and I'm keeping my eyes on the prize. I'm then going to bridge up with my hips. I'm going to swivel my leg under, come to the bottom of the lunge, I'm going to stand up, then I'm going to reverse the process. I'm going to lunge back down, I'm going to go out to the side, I'm going to kick my leg through, 
hip, elbow, shoulder, return. We're going to do one on each side. If you are not familiar with that movement or not comfortable with it, you do not have to load it, just go through it and load it. That's our warm up. In regards to our accessories today, guys, we've got some core work. What we're going to do, we're going to do four rounds. You're going to do 20 dead bugs. You're going to rest as needed between sets. Following that, you're going to conclude with five to 10 minutes of some handstand practice. Let's have a quick look at our dead bug. In regards to our demonstration, we're going to go from the easiest variation to the hardest. I'm going to start in a, in a hollow tuck position. I'm going to have my hands out in front of my shoulders, and then I'm going to alternate with just the legs. I'm keeping my knees just in front of my hips and slowly extending with the legs. If that's easy, you can then alternate legs and arms. If that's still too easy, go hollow position with the upper body, alternating with the legs. Cool, that's tough. So, there we have it, team. We have our warm up, we have our workout, and we have our accessories. Your coaches will be in contact with you to provide any clarification if there's any confusion. But let's keep this momentum going and let's get after it today.